Okay, hey YouTube, iPod Touch Themer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom theme using GIMP. I will have a download link in the video description. And so let's get started. Since I'm using Hypercam, if you didn't notice, I probably will not be able to show you a screenshot, but I will try to do my best to make sure you guys will be able to see that this actually works. Okay, so go ahead and open up GIMP like I told you, or like I told you to download. Go ahead and open that up, and I will pause it when it's, or resume it when it's done downloading, or loading. Okay, it's done, so now we are going to go to File, New, and then make the width 320 and the height 480. And hit OK. Then you'll get this. Now go into Google and make a or go to images and search for the type of image you want. I'm going to uh, pr let's go with a peace sign as my background. And I like. I like this one right here, so we're going to use that. Just copy it, go into GIMP, edit, paste, oh, sorry, you have to view the full size image, sorry, the full size image, and then copy the full size image, then do edit, paste, and then you'll get this. You go over here to the move tool, and move it around you get what you like. Uh, I'm just going to use it like centered like this. So then go to File, Save As, and just save it to your desktop as wallpaper.png with a capital W if you can't see that already. And then save it. And then hit Export and then Save. You'll have to click export for any image that you that is PNG. So then go ahead and go to file new again and now we're going to make an icon. Go make the width and the height 60. Then hit okay, go to layer, transparency, add alpha channel. Then just hit delete. Then go over here to the rectangle tool. Do rounded corners and make the radius 13. and then drag and drop it right in there and then just try to get it nice and good in there and now we're gonna go back into Google and find another image that we would like as the wallpaper so now I'm gonna search for a uh, I'm gonna use what I normally use for every uh, tutorial that I try making uh, a moon so but this is not the image I always use. I'm just going to use this because it seems good. So then do edit, paste into. Then go over back to the move tool. Move it around to your liking. Uh, kind of like that, I guess. The reflection of the sun on the water. So then file, save as. And then I'm going to use this as my Cydia icon. So whatever you name it as, you have to name it exactly what you want it to be. So I'm going to name it Cydia with the capital C dot PNG. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. And then hit export and then save. Go ahead and exit that out again. And go to file new. And now we're going to make a status bar. So make it 320 by 20. Then you'll get this. I'm going to make a black one. So, oh, just go over to the bucket tool and then just click. And if, yeah, so just click. And then file, save as, and then you're going to name it status bar with a capital S and then B A R with a capital B dot PNG. Then hit save. And then that's your status bar. And I don't really like any dock, but 
I'm sure you could make one or just figure out how to make one, but I'm not really going to show you because I only like one dock. So, yeah. So now that we have all of our files that we wanted to make right here, um, or here, I'll, I'll throw in the, the dock. So I'm going to just copy the dock and just paste it. Alright, so now we have the dock, the status bar, an icon, and wallpaper. So now we're going to right click on our desktop, go to new folder, and since I'm making a, uh, I'll just name it, uh, I just use random images, so I'm just going to name it random as my theme. Inside here, drag your wallpaper, your dock, and your status bar. Then right click again inside this, go to new folder, and then you're going to have to name this icons with a capital I. Click into there, drag and drop your icon into there, and that's it. And then now all I have to do is SSH it into my iPod which I can't really show you because all my USB ports are taken up but all you gotta do is SSH it into there and yeah I'll have a screenshot in the video description for you guys to look at to see that it actually worked so thanks for watching and don't forget this is iPod Touch Themer here with another tutorial don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and watch my other videos. Thanks.